mountains a flurry of activity, uh, including staking the well. We get surveyors to go out and stake the well. We send in for a Texas Railroad Commission permit, and then we go through what is a extremely painful process of permitting the well in a municipality if we're drilling in a city. Uh, the uh, permitting time is in the, at the Texas Railroad Commission is about 14 days right now. The, uh, the permitting time in a city uh, can be as much as a, a year. Uh, Fort Worth is becoming pretty efficient. They can get a permit through if it's not a high impact permit. Uh, 30 to 45 days. The, uh, once the well is permitted, our construction group goes out and flattens out a piece of land that's between uh, one and a half and two and a half acres, depending how many wells we're going to site on that pad. And then we move the drilling rig in. The drilling rig is what you're going to see today. That's, that's the piece of equipment that actually puts the hole in the ground. The way we drill these wells, we drill down to about 1,500 feet or 100 or so feet below the freshwater aquifers, and we set a, a string of casing called our surface casing. That casing generally uh, 95 eighths in diameter. We get that set, and then we pump cement down the inside of the casing and put a plug behind it, pump that plug down forces that cement up around the outside of the casing, bonding the casing to the wall of the hull. That makes it impossible for any migration of fluids up and down that wellbore once we've completed the 